Light love, light love. 11.33 on the phone, y'all. Whoa. Hold on, y'all. Sorry, I accidentally hit the button on the thing. Hold on. Oh, All right. I pray for the highest good, Lord Jesus. And um, I pray that... that uh, we're all well. We're all happy. Um, I know it feels hard right now, but um, um, you have to trust and and believe in divine. They have something special for you, okay? And that's what the whole thing is, is trusting them. If you can't trust them, um, then you might as well get off the path. Do you understand? That's what they're saying. Okay. Um, I just wanted to say that, okay? Um, they're saying, if you can't trust in the vine, you might as well get off the path. All right, we're going to read out of this book right here. All right. What does Collective need to talk about today? What's Collective need to talk about today? They say the end of the book. Okay, page 258. Um, that's a 15, which is balance. Um, we got, we take walks before dinner with some people in the neighborhood. You're welcome to join us. Or, you know, you can stay in your room and rest. We made some, some VR recordings for you. Things you missed. Um, so somebody was, like, out of it and missed some things. It says, right? I said, um, it was clear that, that the walk was definitely not optional. I ate my snack as quickly as I could, and my mother studied me, each of us figuring out a game plan for how to deal with each other. You and your husband doing okay over there? My father asked. Um, Sean, right? He says, yes, we're fine. I'm not sure how much an English teacher's salary covers Chicago, my mother said. He's not an English teacher. He's only did that here for a year after college. He just passed the bar exam. Oh, okay. Both of my parents looked at each other, unsure of what that what that that meant. It says he's going to be an environmental lawyer, a good one. Of course, I couldn't blame them for not knowing the details. All they knew about our relationship was that Sean had taught me business English, and that I had lied about a work trip to America. But the pull of my adolescence routines and attitudes called to me. Okay, it says should I unpack? All right, it says, upstairs I found Tsunami, Orange Tabby Cat. Oh, it's somebody's name. Shibby, Shibia, C-H-I-B-I is her name, curled on top of my suitcase, okay? Um, it says, uh, I had to transfer a small pile to a chair to make room. Um, nearly everything was as, as, I, as I remembered it, a decade-old calendar. Um, so something from 10 years ago is coming back. It says, Baba still tacked to the wall a stack of travel brochures on the dresser and all the cities she dreamed of visiting. Okay, so um, maybe make a dream board or something to that effect. Okay, um, um, and uh, something something's rising back up from like 10 years ago. Okay, a decade. All right, um, so they want me to read out of this real quick. All right, it says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Proverbs fourteen twelve. So even if it seems right to you, it's not um, right in the eyes of the spirit world, okay? So pay attention. Let me fix this. All right. So what y'all want to tell us today? What y'all got to say? Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, ascending masters. Thank you, um... Archangel Michael for coming down guard and protecting us as we channel the messages. Any evil eye or any evil at all sent towards us or collective, um, we send back to sender. No gossip, no envy, no jealousy, none of it. Um, we, we send all of it back to sender, okay? And um, we stand in our truth. Thank you, ancestors, for the truth. All right, let's get on with it and see what they want to say to us. The gorillas say, um, it's coming on, it's coming on, it's coming on. That's what they say. Yeah, they said that. Do you feel lucky, punk? Because <laughs> his name is called the name of this song called Clint Eastwood. 
Okay, what do we got? Look, like some more fell in there. Nope. Okay. So what we're starting off with? Someone's building, building back up. Someone's starting to to build back up. Okay. Um, the strength card is helping them to build back up. And they're manifesting. Dang, we got three, a destiny, and a three, y'all. You know what that looks like, like when you write it down? Okay. Three, destiny, and a three. All right. On um, the bottom of the deck is the chariot. The chariot's building back up. Um, manifesting something. One of the chariot manifesting. A tower. And the truth, y'all. The chariot's manifesting a tower and the truth. Okay, um, this could be the police. Like I said, it depicts a cancer and the police and also po polarity. But it also depicts on something coming in really quickly, okay? Um, like a wrecking ball. <laughs> That's what we need for this. <laughs> okay, um, so, so this tower, this chariot may be leaving. It's going to cause a tower. It's going to cause this person here. To realize what that they haven't said anything. I mean, like, don't wake them up. Is that what, is that what you're trying to tell me, spirit? This one went in the floor. Some kind of skill that this chariot. Yep, yeah, this chariot's leaving. I'm telling you, this chariot is leaving. Very skilled at leaving as well. Okay. Um. Don't like. We'll do it. Okay. It says it's the high priestess. High Priestess gaining strength and causing a tower because she's about to leave. You see how it's showing her feet walking? She's about to leave. Okay. And what's going on here with this manifestation here? Because this row is all manifestation. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Wow. That's crazy. Um, what you don't see on the bottom of the deck, the lovers. Some kind of struggles that somebody put them through. Action being taken. And the hermit is the king of cups. Okay. The king of cups is carrying burdens. Look, he's on the tower. You see this? The king of cups is carrying burdens. He, he's on the tower because he's trying to manifest this. And the high priestess knows that unexpected luck is coming. And this king of cups is, is, is uh, carrying a lot of burdens. Um, he's trying to open a brand new door. Okay. Um, that's... You're gonna cause a tower. Okay. Alright. Um anything else? Anything else collecting need to know from these cards? It said the Queen of Wands. This is something different. Okay, two more. We'll go down like that and see what the Queen of Wands is involved about it. What is the Queen of Wands? What is the Queen of Wands? Thank you. What is the Queen of Wands? Queen of Wands went digging in a garden. Some kind of experience that they have went digging in a garden. What else? For the Knight of Chalice. Okay, can you explain that? It says judgment and the truth. Judgment's here for this and the truth. For what's going on with this Queen of Wands and this uh, Knight of Chalice? All right, what else? Oh, the king of the king of swords just popped up out here too, on on this right here. Queen of Wands, the Knight of Chalice. Um, someone went into someone's garden, okay, and someone passed judgment on it. The Queen of Swords passed judgment on it. And the King of Swords is about to come in and confirm it, okay. What else? It says and they're going to move on to calmer waters. This king in Queen of Swords he is. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Is this King and Queen of Swords a divine couple? Yes. Okay. Is this Queen of Wands the Queen of Swords? No. Okay. So, look. This, um... Is this King of Swords the King of Chalice? Yes. Okay. Is this Queen of Swords? Is this Queen of Swords the High Priestess? 
Queen of Swords is the High Priestess? Yes. Okay, stop. <laughs> is this Queen of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Chariot? Is the High Priestess the Chariot? Yes. So y'all know, okay? So it's confirmed um, that that's what's going on. Um, this king is going to tell the truth and back up what this queen said. And it's all going to go to calmer waters, okay? Um, anything else? The hair font. Somebody talking to a judge. I'm trying to tell y'all, even if it's in the spiritual world or in the regular world, someone's talking to a judge, um, wanting to give a, 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 a overflowing cup because they're holding on to justice on this Queen of Wands, okay? Because she. <laughs> It's saying that he's that he that he's putting down his sword. I mean, he's putting down his weapons, and he wants to tell the truth. Okay, he's on his knees, um, praying, praying about it. Okay, um, that he wants to share with this king and queen of swords. He wants to share it. Um, make her the queen of pentacles. Okay, um, what else? California dreaming, y'all. The star. Brand new doors opening for the star and in love. Um, this is almost complete. It's the Empress. Okay. If you don't see on the bottom of the deck, somebody going to jail. They're waiting. Somebody, somebody going to go to jail. Okay. Um. Someone's waiting. Someone's looking and watching and waiting. Now, remember, I want you to remember this. This person right here that's sitting in this water, the one right beside it, there's a cliff right here, and there's a guy, and he's pouring out three cups right in this water right beside her, okay? Um, so, um, I'm not sure what this is showing. It's saying somebody's going to jail, and this, this person's waiting. Okay? The community's waiting, too. To find out what, what's up somebody's sleeve. Okay? All these people are waiting to see what's going on. Because you got the six of chalice, the three of chalice, and the seven of chalice. Okay? And this is some kind of destiny. Okay? Because there's eight swords here. Alright, the moon. A secret. Okay? Someone was left dangling on a tree. Someone was left dangling on a tree. The magician... Is the King of Pentacles wants to come in face to face and gets out of jail, or while he's in jail, he's telling two truths. Okay, um, it's gonna cause a shit ton of fucking um, drama. Okay, it's this King of Wands that's gonna tell the truth. He's he's the magician. Okay, and that's the truth. Okay, so we know that it says that he's gonna tell the truth. So anything else? Why well, y'all gotta pop them out like that? It's bullshit. Okay, it says it's some kind of destiny. It's destiny. Just trust in the vine, y'all. You can't uh, uh, trust in the vine. Someone was in a third party and got the heart broken. Um, it's the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, he, he was he was um uh thinking about money and he and he walked away from me. Now he's been illuminated. He's been watching you. Okay, um, sit there with your falcon and um just maintain. Okay. Um, he's in love with you. Wants a brand new start with this for this divine couple. This the two of chalice. This right here is a destiny. He wants a new start. That's landed. That's on the truth. Okay. All right. It says he's sticking the truth down somebody's throat. Okay. Um, manifesting a wish for love and money. Uh Manifesting the shit out of it in secret. He's doing it in secret. Nobody knows that he's doing this. It's the emperor. Right there with the empress. All he thinks about. He wants to come to the edge tell the truth. Tired of carrying burdens and juggling shit. And he's, there's that card I was talking about that's on the other side. Um, with that woman sitting in that water. Look, he pouring evidence out right beside her. Do you see that? And she acts like she don't see it, but she sees it. Okay. Seen the sun? 
Um, it's all coming to completion, okay? This is a destined thing. Um, look, you can't... <laughs> People can put obstacles in front of destiny. Balance. Um, but <laughs> destiny's destiny. You can't hardly stop it, okay? It's destiny for this emperor to cross this bridge to his wish fulfillment with this empress, okay? Um, thinking about the cups that he spilt, um, what he didn't see... He didn't see it. He spilled them out, he, he, you know. Um, and now he's trying to figure out if it, if it, if they can make it. Okay. It says that something is coming to an end. All the lies and stuff are coming to an end. The betrayal, that's being told. Um, the the betrayal. Look, he went into hangman mode. He said, man, I transformed completely. This this person has transformed me somehow or another. I'm throwing down my weapons. He threw them down. He walked over here. Um, there's a bridge over here. And over here, um, he had thrown down his weapons, okay? He's tired of fighting. All right? And it says it's the Capricorn. And this is destiny. This is all destiny. Okay? This emperor is this Capricorn. This is destiny. This empress is this, is this chariot. Um, the Queen of Wands is, is something else, okay? Um, and the Hierophant. The Hierophant is some, a judge, okay? Some, somebody has talked to a judge. Somebody has, um, whether it be in a spiritual judge or a real, live, real judge, but somebody's talked to a judge, whether it be something spiritually abundant or divine doing something for you, um, because the judge in the spirit world has been talked to or or that the counterpart went and talked to a judge, told the truth, and now the judge is um, is, is going to make it fair and right for this empress, okay? Um, whether or not she makes it right for the emperor, I don't know, but it shows that the emperor is going with the empress, okay? So, you tell me, okay? We'll ask Pendulum, shit. Let me pull my little buddy out here. Look. <laughs> pendulum. Pendulum. Yo, 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 pendulum. Um, is, uh, is, um, the emperor coming with the empress? Because the emperor's about to leave. The emperor coming with her? They say Yes. They say the emperor's coming, y'all. Stop. The emperor told on the queen of wands. The emperor told on the queen of wands. Yes or no? Did the emperor tell on the queen of wands for what she did to the to the divine couple? Yes. Okay, stop. Is there some kind of secret that the emperor, the high priestess, doesn't know that the emperor knows that he's telling? Yes, because look, yesterday it was saying that there's a secret even the high priestess doesn't know. But the emperor knows it because he saw it with his own eyes, okay? The high priestess doesn't know it, okay? Um, did it, for some reason I say it said something to do with kids. Did, did the Queen of Wands also do something to kids? Did she also do something to children? Yes. And the emperor saw it? Stop. The emperor saw her do this to this kid? Was it an older kid? The emperor saw the, em the queen of wands do something to a child. To a, to a, uh, maybe like an 8, 9, 10 year old? Is that correct? Like 8 years old? Yes. Okay, so so this Queen of Wands done something to a kid. Um, I want to say it's a boy. I want to say it's a boy Leo. Um, I don't know why I'm saying that, but I see I see the signs of a Leo on this kid. His his hair's kind of uh like a mane. Okay. Um, this kid is a Leo. I'm telling you. 
Did the Queen of Wands do something to a Leo child? To a child that is a Leo? The Queen of Wands do something to a Leo boy child? Yes. Queen of Wands did something to a boy child, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Okay, stop. The Queen of Wands has also done something to a girl child that's older, didn't he? Didn't she? No? She did it just to the boy child? Oh, because of the feminine and the masculine energy. Okay, stop. Okay. Is the Emperor telling about this secret house that they go and do this shit at? Is he telling about the house, the secret house that they do this shit at? Hmm. He's telling about the house that you mentioned that you just don't know about. Look, what's playing on the on the thing right now is the dark side of Oz. It's um, it's um, the dark side of the moon by Pink Floyd. But it's um, the Wizard of Oz. Um, um, the beginning of the movie. Um, that shows. Okay, it says stars. Pregnant. Okay, the stars represent the divine couple, right? Okay, stop. Okay, the divine couple is not pregnant. Okay, the, 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 it, does it, is this representing like a, a brand new rebirth of the, of the stars? Okay, it's a rebirth of the stars, a reunion, y'all. Because you have to understand... I only have so many um, things wrote on these things, and they and they're trying to how they think that I would see, a pre, you know, like I would. Um, it says the army of dark. What about the army of dark? This is appreciation, hot fire, and smoking. What speak up? What's the army of dark trying to say? Religion. They, oh, and these people, let me say this too. These people act like they go, like they're uh, church going peoples, okay? But they get kicked out of every church that they go to. Is that correct, Spirit? Um, these Army of Dark, they act like they're church going people, but they get kicked out of the churches that, when they go to the churches? Yeah. Stop. Okay. I'm a spiritual person. I go to churches. I've been to churches a bunch. Um, but um, I'm a spiritual person. And um, I've had experiences in the churches that um, uh, all the hypocrisy and stuff like that. Um, I, I'll go to a church, but um, uh, I just don't um, agree with them talking about... Okay, I went to a church this time. One time, it was it was awesome church. I'm talking about awesome church, okay. And this girl came to church there too. Well, she happened to have leg tattoos, okay, and she was wearing a dress, all right, and she had leg tattoos on on her, one of her thighs. Um, and and uh, and this this group of women was sitting over together, snickering and talking, and actually like pointing at this woman, right, making it real obvious. That they were talking about her. Boy, I stood up in the middle of that church. I said, look here. <laughs> Boy, because I knew the women. I said, y'all want to talk about somebody having a fucking tattoo? I said, and you, you drink every single night? I mean, I started going to fuck off because they, they done did this and made this woman sit over there and cry. Because she was just trying to be accepted. Boy, I went off on her. I said, oh, you got lots of nerves, okay? Um, to say that, I said, well, you go out on Saturday night wearing uh, uh, um, next to nothing, come to church Sunday with a hangover. You going to talk about this woman having tattoos because she wants to come see God? She wants to come talk to God and get closer to God? Boy, I went the fuck off, y'all. It was crazy. Now, I don't know how these fell out the same. That's craziness. These were from this morning, and they fell out. of the. Uh, y'all seen me shuffle this deck, too. It says, stay afraid, but do it anyway. Okay, that's what it said. I'm going to shuffle them again. See if I can get something different. They say the same ones again. And 
It says, be bold, envision yourself living the life that you love. It says, I'm not goal-oriented so much as I'm constantly aware of what I'm passionate about, and I'm constantly updating the list. Okay, one more. It says, remember that great expectations create great cap capabilities. If you, if you limit your goals to what you know you can achieve, you are setting the bar way too low. Okay, so don't, don't set the bar too low. Just go att attempt and try. Okay, we got like gold and heart. Okay, this is coming from your from your diaphragm of uh, where your chakras are to your heart. Okay, gold and okay. All right, all right. Unicorns. These want to tell you something. I'm about to close it out, y'all. Um, I'm gonna let y'all ask a question too. So get get a question prepared. All right. Because I've been lazy today bad. Okay. It says gentleness and leadership. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck says nature. Alright. Leadership says step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others. Okay. Gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. So what did I say y'all? What did I say? This is... Your heart, this is your sacral, right above your, right below your diaphragm, your, your stomach area, okay? Um, same as these. They're wanting you to open up your heart, have openness, okay? Um, don't be closed off, and um, be creative. What the fuck? That's a gnat. God dang it, man. I'll be kind of glad to leave these some bitches, man. This place right here. It says, uh, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 3, 3. He must be born again. John 3, 7. You understand? A rebirth. A new birth. A being born again. And it says, In him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. John six thirty seven. Okay? Oh, let me do one more of these. So, y'all, give me one of these. Y'all like these? Just one of them. I just want one. Okay, we're going to take this one. It says engagement. What? Engagement. Today I make a conscious choice to engage with the world in, in an active way. I'll take a new route and talk to strangers. I will smell flowers and pet dogs. Maybe walk around barefoot for a while if I'm not inside a 7-Eleven. At the very least, I'll have a day that's slightly more interesting than average. And at the most, I'll have, a, I'll have a startling epiphany or make a friend who will change my life forever. No pressure. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Collective, um, I'm going to let y'all ask two questions. So, go ahead and ask uh, your questions, okay? All right. Pendulum, um, Collective has two questions to ask. Can you answer their first question for them, please? Can you answer Collective's first question? Make it clear, because that looks like a yes and a no. Stop. Okay, answer their first question for them. They say yes. All right, stop. Stop, please. What's the matter with y'all? All right. So, Collective has a second question. Can you please answer Collective's second question with a yes or a no, please? Second question is an absolutely no, y'all. Okay, first question, yes. Second question, no. Okay. Um, I'm being prompted to grab one of these. I hope that ain't a mile long. God dang. All right. It says technology. You're in the matrix. Okay. It says computers, laptops, and tablets um, occur very commonly in dreams. So do heavier pieces of hardware, such as elevators and escalators. Often technology malfunctions and proves frustrating in some way. Um, if it's a computer, your, your files may get deleted or com cor corrupted. If you're unable to access them or re receive messages or emails, it's, if it's an elevator, the, me the mechanism sticks. 
We think of technology as a servant, servant programmed to obey our bidding. Hence, devices that malfunction in a dream show that there aren't as much control of the situation or relationship as we think. In your interpretation, consider the purpose of technology. A dysfunctional email system may imply that you're struggling to connect or communicate with true feelings or to someone, or being in, in, insufficiently clear or empathic about your needs. Okay, it says, if this doesn't fit, Look for other sources of frustration that the dream may be reflecting. Something obstructing your career, um, the feeling that technology is passing you by. Okay? All I can say is, um, techno as, as a human being, we're, 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 um, uh, we can make mistakes. We're fallible. Okay? Um, I feel the same way as a com that a computer is fallible as well. Um, they're made by human beings. I mean... They're fallible too, okay? Um, and they malfunction and stuff like that, okay? Um, so if you liked anything on here, um, if anything made any kind of sense and resonated with you, um, hit the thumbs up button. Look, I keep seeing this 88. Some kind of destiny. Um, hit the subscribe button. Um, donations to the channel are at uh, dollar sign, cash app dollar sign Angel Moon 6237. I love y'all. I'll see y'all on the flip side. Um, the TV um, is showing like a party, okay? God bless and I love y'all.